I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a deep breath here because <laughs> Yeah, you see, you look like a really nice what, chicken uh, rooster. rooster. You look, you look really nice and harmless, Nicole. Thank you. Until you bring on your little furry friends, and the title of our interview today is edible insects. Edible insects, edible bugs in general. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, and I am the Walking Mountains rooster, and I actually haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I brought some. Infe and some tomato infested with hornworms. Would you like to try some? Oh, okay. Now this, grab yourself a worm. This, okay, this this looks like something that I can I can probably get into. Okay, yes, so. I'm just kidding. This isn't. These aren't actually okay. bugs. This is um, just a lovely tomato that's been carved mm. out and has some whipped cream cheese in there. And then these are um, this is just cheese that's been wrapped in cucumber and it's mm. just made to look like. An infested okay. tomato, something fun for Halloween. Very um, good. But yeah, I thought it would be a fun introduction to our topic today, which is entomophagy, Ooh. which is actually eating insects. Entomophagy, yeah. mm -hmm. learning new words. Okay, so tell us about uh, some of these, these insects that are edible that uh, you clearly know a lot more about than I do. Well, actually, it's very interesting because um, we humans, we tend to eat um, in our diet a lot of vertebrates, but actually there's... Um, the world is actually populated with 97% invertebrates and actually 80% of the world's human population already do eat insects and other bugs as part of their diet. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, in Asian cultures, you have a oh, lot of... like this guy? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, locusts and crickets, um, grasshoppers, um, and then you have the grubs, a lot of the little grubs, and especially in... Um, jungle communities where it's really very difficult to get protein yeah. into one's diet it's a lot easier to scavenge the forest floor so actually chupa would be on the menu in places like cambodia okay but don't don't tell her yeah, that yeah. now chupa is she, she your doesn't spider. have ears so she there, <laughs> she can't hear me talk there about she it. is and mm -hmm. and tell, tell us so she's she's been part of your family for years now right she is so she's not an insect she's an arachnid but she's still in the bug category because okay. bugs would just describe worms and insects and arachnids all together. So she's on the menu for some people in some parts of the world. Not for, um, I actually not for brought us. some infographics here oh, about okay. some interesting fun facts about eating insects. Um, they're actually a lot more sustainable to mass produce than um, cattle or poultry. Okay. Um, and one of the main reasons, fun fact right here, um, is because insects are cold-blooded. So more of their food that they ingest goes to actually producing the meat of the insect mm. than to keeping their bodies warm. Oh, okay. Where like a cow takes right. a lot more energy to feed that body, to keep that body warm and to produce the same amount of meat. So gotcha. it's pretty interesting. Okay. Um, and actually, this is one of Chupa's favorite meals I brought to show everyone. Okay. These mealworms right here. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, we can see them. Yeah. No. You want to hold one? No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't hold one. <laughs> yeah. And actually, these are um, one of those edible insects that a lot of people eat. You can eat these. If oh, you want you to. Sure can. Yeah, you and sure can. so Ashley, I did bring a special Halloween treat here for us to try. I actually roasted some mealworms yesterday and covered them in chocolate. Oh my god. So I thought you might want to try some. <laughs> you thought I the, might want to yeah, try some. Here's, there's a perfect oh, one. Nicole. We can try this. You want to try this together? I just, will only try this. Together, things I do for you people. <laughs> really, Nicole. Uh, Happy Halloween! Happy trick or treat. You're just you decide on if this is a trick or a treat. Yes. Yeah. Chew it. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? It's very crunchy. It's crunchy. <laughs> it's crunchy. They got the crunch in there, and the chocolate really kind of just, just gives it a really nice flavor. Uh huh. So, okay. as a rooster, this is what I'm going to be handing out to kids. And okay. Chupacabra helped make them yesterday, and she's mm -hmm. she doesn't like mm -hmm. the chocolate part. She's happy with everything else. Well, I just <laughs> want Nicole? another one. Uh, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna leave some for the rest of the staff to share who signed me up for this yeah. this morning. And um, oh my gosh, WalkingMountainScienceCenter.org. Incredible programs. <laughs> you don't all have to uh, to eat bugs when you when you participate in the programs. 
No, my, oh, some of my girls and science Google. girls are going to get to try these today. Girls and science, yes. okay. You also have STEM programs. You have so much, Nicole. I mean, it really is one of my favorite places in the Valley. We are out of time, and thank goodness that we are. By the way, crunchy, <laughs> delicious, kind of. Okay, we have more coming up on the show. Maybe Mark will eat some insects coming up next.